Hi, Sarah here, and welcome to my first video tutorial to go with my very first monthly card kit. So I'll show you what you get in the box. It'll come in a box like this, so it's well protected in the post. And inside in card kit number one, you'll have some flowers and pearl trim. You'll have a laser cut shape. Some of the items will vary from box to box. You'll have some pearls. You'll have some mesh, some white organza ribbon, and some crocheted um, uh, lace trim as well. You'll also receive a box, your instructions and contents list, two six by six card blanks to make the cards with. In this box, I'll also give you the two um, six by six envelopes, but I also give you a seven by seven envelope because if you do make a card where it hangs over the side a bit, it'll fit in the envelope, okay. But obviously with the box, if you want to give it away to somebody really special, it'll protect your card. In the box as well, you've got eight six by six papers. And every month you'll have a special item, which will be a surprise. Now for the first month, I've actually told everybody what it is, and it was some rolls of um, double-sided sticky tape and some foam pads. But in future, that'll be a surprise. So it could be a pair of scissors, it could be some stickles glue, it could be um, some, an ink pad, distress inks, it could be a shaping tool. Um, there's a number of things that it could be, so it'll be a surprise for you each time. But it'll also help you to build up your, your craft stock as well. Now in the box will be some more of the um, items that you need to make the card. So in this one, we've got some Diamante strip, we've got your resin frame, your butterfly border, another oval shaped border, some little butterflies and we've got a little sentiment there. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how we make the card. Okay so let's see how we can make the card. So what I've done is I've already stuck a couple of the papers that are in your pack uh, down onto the card. I've just trimmed them to size and I've used an edge distress, distresser just to roughen up the edges because I quite like the look of that and I'll show you how you do that. So you literally you get your card, get your distresser and just run it along like that and if you can see it just roughens up the edges like that. You can also do it with a pair of scissors with the blade but do be careful because you could cut yourself with that. Then what I've done is I've used um, some distress ink and I've just gone along the edges where I've distressed it just to sort of highlight it a little bit more. Now you will find on the instructions that I give you a top tip and that is that when you put your double-sided sticky tape, I recommend that you stick it about a centimetre in. So for example, if I just get some tape here, be sort of sticking it down about there, okay? Reason being is that if you want to roll back your corners, you can do. And what I do is get the tweezers and I just roll it back like that. If you want to give it that sort of aged look. So I just roll those back as well. Now you might prefer the look of it being flat and that, that's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to roll those bits back and that one. And because it's good quality cardstock, it'll stay rolled like that. Okay, so that's that bit done. Now you've got a selection of papers so you can use them as, a, you know, however you wish. Now what I'm going to do now is we've got the shape that's cut out, which is in your pack. Now I'm just going to get a bit of distress ink on this as well and just go over the edges, and if you can see there, just sort of ages it, makes it look a little bit more vintage. So I'm just going to stick that round, and I'm going to stick that on there. Now, I'm going to use some tape. Don't need a great deal to hold it in place. Oops, put that on there, pull the backs off. That's it like that this one off. If it sticks just use a pokey tool to, to help it come off, which I think I should have done with this one. No, it's not going to come off. Try again. That's it, lovely. So and I'm using the lines on my um, cutting mat to make sure everything looks straight. So I'm going to put that on there like that. Now I've got some of the mesh here that was in the pack 
and I'm just going to cut a bit of it okay like that and the beauty of this mesh is you can pull it about okay so I'm just going to stick a little bit under there like that again stick it away wherever you want it put a little bit more here just pull that about I might add a little bit more under here that's it like so so now I'm going to add um, my butterfly border again I'm just going to add a little bit of distress ink just to the ends like that quite like how that looks um, I'm going to use a little bit of the tape and I'm just going to add that now so I've just put a bit of tape on the edge there pull the backing off and I'm just going to try and just slip that under there because if you remember that bit was a bit loose wasn't it because I've put my tape a bit further down so let's see if we can get that in yep perfect okay so I've got that on there now I've got my frame it's already got some little foam pads on it but I might just add a little bit more so I've got a couple here pop one on there or you might even find you'd, you'd rather use uh, perhaps some silicon glue or a glue gun just to make sure it's definitely in place let's take the backing off that one and I think I'm going to stick that about about there I think roughly in the middle now remember this is just a guideline for you so you can stick stick them wherever you like and I'm just going to get my little label oh, I should have done that first really so just pull that off slightly that's it Going to lever that through and then what I'm going to do is put another foam pad on the back there take the backing off and then just bend it slightly it just raises it like that now I've got some flowers that are in the pack and don't forget by the way that um, these little like ribbon spools that you get with it you can use these in your cards you know so don't let them go to waste so it's just now a case of deciding where I'm going to put flowers. Mm, it's good that's broken off. Let me see. One here. So let's get some more foam pads. Again, you might want to use your glue gun on this one. So pop that on there. Got another one here. Take the cover off there. And again, I'm just going to get my uh, Distress ink and just tone it down. Otherwise, you might find the colours are a bit too bright. That just tones it down a little bit. Um, now I've got some of the butterflies here. Now what I do is I get my tweezers and I just push like that. Okay, and whilst I'm holding it, again, just a little bit of the distress ink. I've got some cosmic shimmer glue here. And what I'm going to do is a little bit of glue on the back there and I'll just pop my butterfly there I've got a small butterfly here in the pack again I'll just put a bit of distress ink on him a little bit of glue again and this is strong glue so uh, it will stick well I hope it doesn't stick there that's it just perhaps pop that one there now I'm going to use some of my diamante strip so I'm just going to cut that and I'm going to add a little bit onto my butterflies I think so what I'm going to do I'm just going to bend my card up a second so I don't get glue on the back I'm going to put a bit of glue along there put my strip on a little bit of glue there and I think I'm just going to cut that a little bit smaller as it's a smaller butterfly put that on there 
and I'm just going to use some of my gems now. Let's pop one on that butterfly there. And perhaps a few just on this one here. Okay, now I know there's a little bit of glue there from when I just dropped the uh, butterfly, so that's it. Just got it off there. Okay, so I'll just carry on with these little gems, uh, little pearls. Stick that on there like that. Just bring up the the, the uh, wings again, just so that they look like they're in flight. <coughs> And I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think I shall leave my card like that. So I've still got plenty of card left over. I've got gems, I've got more flowers, uh, lots of items left so I can still do two or more cards. So that is my finished card. So thank you for watching my video for my first card kit. Card kit number two is released on the 15th of this month, so please check my Facebook page to check for details on that. Um, it's going to be another exciting kit, lots of lovely goodies inside, and I hope you'll watch out for the next video to go with that too. So thank you, bye.